Delighted to say now we're joined by uh, Footballer of the Year and uh, Donegal All-Star Carl Lacey. Carl, first of all, you're facing in the Ulster final. Injury concerns in Donegal camp, including yourself. What's the very latest? Um, yeah, good question, I suppose, Adrian. Uh, um, personally, myself now, I've been come back from a, a knee injury there two weeks ago, so unfortunately I missed out in the down game. Um, but I'm back on track again. I've been training the last week, week and a half. Things going good now with another two weeks to go, so fingers crossed that I get through the next two weeks and I'm in with a shout for, um, if not you know, the full game, maybe you might give me half an hour, ten minutes, see how it goes. As a precaution, did you opt out of the club championship at the weekend just to ensure that the, the injury would move along? Yes, we kind of had a tight schedule last week. Um, Jim wanted the training on Sunday, so there's club games lined up for Saturday. So it's just not an option at the moment, um, you know, doing back-to-back -back sessions like that. So I thought I'd get more more out of the, the training session on the Sunday, so we sat out the club game. And the club didn't mind, and they got the victory anyway, so everybody's a winner. Carl, you put uh, Tyrone to the sword. Struggled a wee bit, people say, against Down, but I, I almost think in many ways that game will do you as the world of good because uh, you'll show you how much more you have to go. Are you slightly worried, but you face Monaghan and people think this will be easy? Ah, uh, listen, you know, people were saying before the down game, but in fairness to the lads, you know, they keep the head down and, you know, it's, it's going to be far from easy against Monaghan and every single player knows that and, you know, Jim has assured us of that as well every night of training and it's probably one of the first things he speaks about before training starts is about, you know, how tough Monaghan are going to be. Um, he was at the semi-final against Calvin and he was, he was very, very impressed by them and, you know, we've, we've down through the years, we haven't had any luck against Monaghan, they've always, you know, always come up better than us and, you know, they've every right to be confident going into the game and it's going to be a different test for us. Um, it's our third Ulster final, it's our third different team, so we don't know what to expect. Um, it's our first time playing one and under gym, so it's going to be a massive test for, for every single one of us, but it's one we're looking forward to. Now, people say they're in a hiding and nothing, and yet they're an experienced side because a lot of them have actually already appeared in Ulster finals. I think they've had three Ulster finals, certainly in the last decade. So one of them will go there, home crowd, Clonus, they'll travel with confidence. Oh, without a doubt, like you know, they've, they've come through two big tests in Ulster already, and you know, Cavan are an upcoming team, and you know, Cavan were, you know, people were talking about winning Ulster this year, and have an under twenty one team there coming up, and you know, the Mon beat them, beat them nearly convincingly as well. Like I know there wasn't much in it, but you know, they were probably the better team on the day as well, and. You've got the old reliables like Paul Finlay and Thomas Freeman, Dick Clerk and Owen Lennon, Desi Moan, all these guys, you know, have been around the block a long time and you know, they don't have an Ulster medal and you know the hunger's gonna be there. We have two, but we we just gotta think that we we can't think we got there and go into it as if, you know, it's um, our lives depend on it and Mon and are gonna take the same approach and um, you know, it's it's a great position to be in for us to be going for a third Ulster title, but as I said it's you know it's, we're just treating it as if it's our first. Are you slightly concerned as well too that all the talk, the punditry, you sort of have uh, yourselves and uh, Dublin and maybe Mayo and almost the rest in the race for Sam McGuire again? Listen, Adrian, like Sam McGuire is not in our head at all, and again, you know, it's something that Jim speaks about every night and reminds us every night of training that it's, we just take one game at a time, and we have been doing that the last two years, and we've had success at it. So why why should we change it? And it's the same approach we've been taking this year, and. We've got to the final now, and that's the only thing that's in our head, and is retaining Ulster and doing the three in a row, and that's the position we're in now. And um, you know, we'll see how it goes. So to sum it up, good news for Donny God. The chances are you'll probably feature against Monaghan. Bad news for Monaghan fans. The chances are Lacey will play some part. Listen, it's uh, still two weeks to go yet. Um, another good four or five sessions ahead of me. So um, we'll see. Hopefully, Denise feeling good at the moment. Um, you know, it can change. Um, you still, there's, you still have to get, you know, I suppose personally I have two challenges at the moment. One is to get fit and the second one then is to get into the team. Um, Jim has said you know, the last, he's been harping on about it all year that he picks the most intensive, the fittest players and that's the category I have to get into. I'm not in that at the moment so to get on that team, um, you know, I have to work hard over the next two weeks. Thanks very much.